So let's see. Ah, beautiful. And I am not, in fact, today the only woman in the room, which is very exciting. It is wonderful to be here. Thank you very much. What I want to talk to you about, though, is about being heard in technical settings. Because as you've heard, that's what I've driven to do for eh, a little more than 15 years now. So uh, for those of you who don't know what a product manager, who knows what a product manager is? Raise your hands. Ooh, that's a lot. Um, so for those of you that don't, uh, what I do is kind of sit at the intersection of the business, the customer, and engineering, right? And try to make sure that we get the right product market fit with the right technology. And that means I go to a lot of meetings. <laughs> okay. Uh, so up until April, I was going to a lot of meetings at Enphase Energy, which does a residential energy management system, including storage and solar uh, power conversion. Uh, and recently, I stepped off the solar coaster and realized that clean tech, the word tech is in there, and we have a lot of things in common with the tech industry. And some of those things are not so great. All right. Um, I'm going to talk about solar because that's what I know. Being a woman in the solar industry can be really hard. Um, the good news, and, and the thing I'd like to highlight, is that it's getting better. So Joan this morning told us about how you, you can't motivate with depression. Let's focus on the positive. Uh, the positive is that according to the Solar Foundation Job Census, women now represent 28% of the solar workforce. And that's up 10% since 2013. So that's a big jump. Things are getting better. Um, now, that's not necessarily true in technical roles. And it's a lot less true for women of color. And women are still very much underrepresented, despite what you've seen today in this room, at the executive level. Okay. But things are getting better. So we can see this as glass half full, but then you know, who's heard about kind of, you know, software industry maybe has some issues with representation of women, All right? The tech industry overall, well, they're at 30%. So we can still do better. In fact, we should get to 50%. Um, what those statistics mean is that when I walk into a conference room, I know that uh, most of those chairs, those chairs are going to get filled by guys, right? And uh, if I'm dealing with embedded systems, they're going to be older, and they're going to be white guys. And there's some field conditions that I just have to deal with, OK? So let's talk about speaking while female. What's that like? Well, <laughs> things aren't the same for me as for my colleagues. Okay, we all know this. I see you nodding along. Um, the thing that was important for me to realize it's not about me, OK? So who's heard about imposter syndrome? Who's got imposter syndrome? OK. Um, you can get past that. And one thing that really helps me is there was a recent study out of Harvard um, where they pretty much quantitatively demonstrated that there is bias against women in the workplace. The way they did this is they actually, at a company, had men and women wear sensors. That's all about data. Uh, wear sensors and track who they interacted with, how often, where they were. And what they found is no statistically significant difference in activity. And they went further to conclude, though, that since the behavior was the same, but the pattern of promotion was not, that implicitly means that there's bias. Okay. Uh, so just know that you're dealing with that. So it's something you have to deal with. Right? People are going to perceive you a certain way. So what I want to talk about is pragmatically, what do you do about that? How can you be successful in these settings where maybe you are the only woman in the room? 
And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my techniques. And then, uh, time permitting, I'd love to see if anyone else has any bright ideas. OK? Uh, here's the things that have worked for me. One of the things that works is standing up when you're talking. Uh, being tall, which is really easy for me, harder for other people. Okay. Invest in good heels. Um, and picking your battles. Okay. And then, for me personally, a big issue was interruptions. Okay. And so what you can do is find the words that work for you to say, hey, I wasn't done with my point. Or I still have some more to say on that topic that I think you'd like to hear. And that works to a point, right? But it does kind of play into the bossy, shrill stereotype. So one thing that really helps there is to have an ally. So I actually talked to one of my male coworkers and said, hey, have you noticed I get interrupted more than you do? And he said, no, I hadn't noticed that. Well, pay attention. Let's see what you think. He was like, you're right. You do get interrupted more than I do. And he went on to help. Because it's much more compelling and easier for me if I can just make my point, and there's someone else in the room saying, hey, she was still talking. Let's hear what she has to say. And I guarantee you, you can find someone who will be that person for you. Now, the third thing that I have found that has made me professionally successful, but a little sad, is sometimes the thing you're trying to accomplish is bigger than you. And that's when I plant a ringer. No, I give my ideas to a white guy. And we talk through them. And I say, this is what I need to have happen. This is the outcome I need. And together, we make it happen. Now, is that ideal? Does it feel good? No. But sometimes what you're trying to get done in the long term is more important than what's happening short term in one meeting. Okay? So those, those are my techniques. But uh, look around. You are surrounded by amazing women. And all of them have uh, lessons to teach you. I'm going to point out two things. What I mean by look around. Look around, talk to the other women, hear what works for them. See if it works for you. Try it out. Pick a low-risk meeting and try changing things and see if it works for you. And then the other thing I want to point out, my hope for this particular conference, look around, how many guys? Okay. We will know that we have succeeded here when half of the people in this room are men. All right. Thank you all very much.